Hey guys, how's it going today? Riddle John here, and I'm joined with my friend Majin Michael. Hi guys. So today we decided to bring you a very special video. We decided to do a top 10 of cartoons from our childhood. The only rule is no anime. We're gonna do anime in a separate video. Hopefully this will be the beginning of a few more videos for top 10 lists and we'll see how you like them. Quick note is if we missed any of your favorite cartoons or they just weren't on the list or if you completely disagree with any of the cartoons we liked as kids, please leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you on that one. Address your concerns to Riddle John. <laughs> so starting off at the very top, number 10 is DuckTales. Big show from our childhood. I think we were both really into it when we were little. Yeah. Uh, you had like Huey, Dewey, and Louie. You had Gizmo Duck, which was one of my favorite characters. You had Donald uh, Duck, which was my favorite Uncle character. Donald Duck, yeah. yeah. And then it, points for anybody who remembers what the code word was for his suit to come on, Gizmo Duck. All right, go ahead. I don't even remember that. No. Uh, number nine on our list is Pinky and the Brain. I loved Pinky and the Brain as a kid. I thought it was hilarious because like you had Brain trying to take over the world and then Pinky would just go along like the dim-witted friend. We all have one of those. I have a sneaking suspicion that Pinky was the real genius and Brain was the nutshot, but that's just me. Anyway, number eight, SWAT Cats. One of the best intros ever for a cartoon. Um, I mean, they had the coolest ship ever, the, the jet that they had. Yeah. They had a missile for like every possible situation that they're ever in. Um, and then they had a really cool second season. Yeah. I like how their main job was they were just Joe Sumo mechanics working out of like a garage and they had this whole underground base thing. Yeah. Kind of like Batman. How did they fund that though? I, Batman I was a billionaire. I have no idea how you fund that. Wow. Let us know. Number seven on our list is Dexter's Lab. Dexter was hilarious. And it's so much more funnier when you watch it as an adult because you miss all the little like adult jokes they threw in there as kids. How when Dexter tried to recruit a new DD, he may or may not have picked up an exotic dancer. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll show you later. Number six, personal favorite of mine, Beast Wars. I'm a huge Transformers fan, back all the way back to G1. A, I love the intro. B, the toys were awesome. I had almost every single one. Some of my most favorite characters in the Transformer universe was in it, particularly Dinobot was one of my favorite. Well, for me, Beast Wars introduced me to the world of Transformers. I had no idea what these things were till Beast Wars, and then I met Optimus Prime, I met Hot Rod, and all these guys, and it was oh, after so cool. Yeah. Number five on our list, this is a hit or miss with certain people, Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond was incredible. Like, you had New Gotham, which was based in, like, the super far future, and it gave a whole new, like, look on everything. Uh, you had the Jokers, you had the Scarecrows, like, different gangs, and a whole new breed of evil villains that I thought was really cool. And I thought it was really cool that they brought Kevin Conroy from the original Batman the Animated Series to yeah. voice the much older... Bruce Wayne as he mentored Terry McGinnis, which was really cool. At number four, Thundercats, uh, a classic from the 80s. Personal favorite of mine, I had the toys. I had a lot of toys when I was little. Um, very cool intro. Mumra was a really cool uh, villain. I really liked Thundercats as a little kid. I just had a problem with Snarf. Like, I didn't get the whole character, but I mean, to each his own, right? He was like for comic relief, but he was, yeah. more, he was more annoying than anything. Yeah, like, I didn't like that. I don't know. Number three on our list, was Gargoyles. Gargoyles was insane. It was so violent for TV, like I don't even know how this was a cartoon, but the intro was dark, the characters were dark. It gave a whole new like perspective on cartoons, like cartoons don't all have to be like bright and shiny and like super cartoony. So I love the backstory of Gargoyles. I thought it was really cool how they showed how, where, how they were in the Middle Ages and the role that they played it was really cool. Okay, so at number two is X-Men from the 90s. Uh, Definitely one of the best cartoons out of that decade. It's one of my favorite cartoons. It's got one of the best intros. It's definitely the, the X-Men that I, you know, picture whenever I'm talking about X-Men or the one I refer to at all times. You know, I think a lot of people our generation, we still identify with the 90s uh, cartoon and definitely top two. Okay guys, so there was a lot of back and forth for this list. Like, there's some cartoons we had to leave out, but we both could agree on number one. Batman the Animated Series in the 90s, like, this is what cartoons should be. This is what cartoons are going to be. Like, I just loved everything about it. Like, you had Batman, you had the Joker. Like, everything I know about the comics and stuff, I learned from Batman. And also, a lot like with X-Men, it's the one that we always refer to when we, when we look back at what we know about Batman. Um, had the best voice acting, Kevin Conroy again, Mark Hamill. Like, Where? that's the definitive Batman, and that's the definitive Joker. Like, there is no other Joker, but... 
Mark Hamill. There's no other Batman but Kevin Conroy. That is Batman. That was our top 10. And again, if we missed any, please leave a comment down below letting us know. And if you agreed with our list, please leave a like and share this video around. I was Riddle John and my friend Majin Michael. We hope to see you guys in our next video. More lists to come. Bye. See you guys. So we're caught up in drama. Everybody's on